Well, there's a very important summit that's coming up uh, today. Actually, uh, started yesterday, I believe. Yes, the last yes. couple of days. Uh, it is called the Real Experience Six Anti-Tobacco Youth Summit, and I've got a couple of people here who can tell us more about it. At Latanisha Wright of the National African American Tobacco Prevention Network, and Michelle Magdarilla, a member <laughs> of Real Molokai Chapter. Thank you for both being with us. Thank hey, Daniel, you. you're on the board, uh, yes. Michelle. Tell us a little bit about the importance of this event, this summit. Our event is called the Real Experience 6, and our most important message that we're trying to get out is that we need a strong law in Hawaii that puts tobacco away out of sight until it's asked for, because when it's out of sight, it's out of your mind. And we want to try and, and remove ads as much as we can so that the youth aren't bombarded and more um, targeted to start smoking. Okay, so this is a youth summit. You actually have young people from around the state that come to participate? Yes, from ages 13 to 21. Now, your keynote speaker last night was Latanisha Wright. Yes, yes Now, you, you've had an interesting life. You actually worked for the tobacco industry at some point in your career, yes, right? Yes, I yeah. did. I worked for Brown and Williamson Tobacco from 2001 until they merged with R.J. Reynolds in 2004. But you've changed now. Now you're campaigning or actually working against tobacco. I am working against the tobacco industry. While I worked for the tobacco industry, I did not appreciate how they were targeting youth and also communities of color, especially with their mentholated products. A lot of your retail stores and communities of color were plastered with the advertising of methylated products, menthol is heavily discounted and advertised, and menthol tends to be a starter product for youth, and also your menthol smokers tend to have a more difficult time quitting than your non-methylated smokers, so to plaster the communities with methylated cigarettes is a horrible thing that the tobacco industry is doing. What advice would you have for the kids in Hawaii trying to reach these goals that they've set for themselves and in, in, in getting tobacco out of in front of them, so well, to speak? The real group has definitely did their part in becoming educated on the predatory marketing tactics conducted by the tobacco industry to lure in urban youth. So that's the first thing, to raise awareness so youth can understand exactly how the tobacco industry is trying to draw in youth to and make them to them. smoke. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, exactly. It was yesterday and today, today's the last day of the year. Tomorrow's, the last, tomorrow's day. the last day. Are there th ways for people to get involved to support this event? Tomorrow is our last day. We're doing a um, share the love trolley and it's a mobile event and we're going around and we're just asking people to help share the love with everyone and help the loved one quit if they're smoking and if you see us around, support us, visit our website www.therealmessage.net. Okay, we'll have a link on our website yep. to your to your website yep. as well, and more information can be found at hawaiinewsnow.com. Latanisha, thank you very much. Thank Michelle, you. thank you for coming thank in you. this morning. We'll be back with more. You're watching Sunrise on Hawaii News Now.